it. So anyhow, this right here is uh, uh, California buckwheat. <clears throat> You'll find it all over, all the way lower elevations, even higher. This is Areogonum fasciculatum. <clears throat> Areogonum happens to be the genus with the most native species in California. Now, remember I tell you, sometimes you, if you learn enough botanical names, you start to get, they become much easier. Okay, when I was first going to college, um, I switched from landscape, from architecture to landscape archi architecture to horticulture. And landscape architects don't have to know crap about plants, really. I right. mean, they, they really don't. And uh, <clears throat> horticulturists do, you know. <clears throat> and so when uh, it took me, when I first, I remember my, the first plant I tried to learn was xylosma congestion. It took me a week to learn that one plant. I just couldn't remember it. You know, I just, I made flashcards and I, I just tried, it took me a week, you know. And then the second plant, it took me about three days, you know. And it got, by the end of the semester, I could learn 10, 15 plants in a day and remember them 40 years later, you know. <clears throat> so it's just a, a discipline that, you know, I assume everyone can do it like I did, but I don't know, some people probably can't. But <laughs> I think most of you can if you, if you discipline yourself to do it. So this fasciculatum, Areogonum is a genus. Fasciculatum refers to the leaf pattern on it. And if you're in taxonomy, plant taxonomy, which is the identification of plant, you look at the, the leaf pattern and it's a fascicle, it's called a fascicle of leaf. So fasciculatum means fascicle leaf, okay? That kind of helps you a little bit with the identification because there's other types of areogonum that don't necessarily have a fascicle of leaf. Because plants are identified not by their leaves, they're identified by what? Flowers. All plants are identified by flowers with the exception of gymnosperms, which don't have flowers, they have cones. So pine trees, cypress, you know, sequoias, all that stuff, they don't have flowers, they have cones, so we identify those by cones. <clears throat> so anyhow, this is Areogonum fasciculatum. It is, you notice how all, all the flowers right now, the dried flowers are brown. In the springtime, you'll see a, a creamy white one flower. And then you'll see some of them that are part white and part brown. And then some, this time of year, they're all brown. And it's kind of interesting to note that the white flowers have not haven't been pollinated yet. As soon as they get pollinated, then they they are fertile flowers. They produce a seed. They'll turn brown.